As spring emerges, signs of life begin to surface, with seedlings sprouting and daily growth unfolding. Seeds have been started and growth is happening every day. Can't help but get excited about the new garden season. Anticipation builds for the upcoming gardening season as each year brings more growth and the necessity to propagate and start more plants. Like any garden, space becomes crucial to accommodate these plants, leading to the need for a greenhouse. We started with a small greenhouse that gave us the ability to expand and start plants a little earlier than normal, and this little greenhouse has worked out well for us. But with more expansion, it was time to turn our desires for an even larger growing space. With the addition of flowers, we wanted a greenhouse that could manage the workload easier than previous years. This is the year. I am so excited. This is the year that we're going to get this high tunnel turned into a greenhouse. Um, it's been a long time coming. The little tiny greenhouse that we have from Harbor Freight, it has done us well. But to say that I didn't buy this high tunnel with the intentions of finally putting up a greenhouse that is large enough to carry all of the seedlings and all of the things that we want to do over the short term, maybe even the long term of what we're doing here on this homestead, I just, I'm really excited about it. So I have a couple of goals for this build and one of those goals is uh, I want to I want to do it as cheap as possible and I don't want it to sound like I'm trying to be cheap because that's that's what it sounds like I want to find as many of these parts as I can locally and then basically build it from the ground up I've done a lot of different research on what that might look like and what that might take and I believe I can get everything here locally minus the wiggle wire channel um, the single and the double wiggle wire we're gonna do roll-up sides on this greenhouse and so um, I've, I think I'm gonna have to order that stuff online or on Amazon there is a place about an hour away that I could probably get some but I don't know if I'll be making a trip out there and at the point of me going out there and getting it it would be the same cost as me um, driving all the way out there and picking it up so that's the goal it sounds like I'm being cheap, but I promise I'm not. I just want to find these things locally in case something breaks. I can get it from the local hardware store or the local department store, but either way, we're getting this thing cleaned out, and then we're going to get started on these in walls. And I'm telling you guys, this thing is going to go together smoothly. I've got a week to kind of get this thing together and get it finished up, so time's a ticking. So most of the parts for this build are actually pretty easy to find. Um, a lot of these greenhouses are made out of what would be like fencing tubing. So you can take the tension bands and wrap them around the um, tubing and they fit perfectly. And then we had originally gotten these strips that we were going to use and I was going to bend them to create kind of like this um, way of attaching them to the board. What I found was they started to break. And so what I found was you could just take these bands and then cut them in half and then the little holes can be used to attach them to the board and then the big hole here can be used to attach them to the band. So it makes it really, really simple and it's still really sturdy. So uh, the, the good thing is a lot of this is just easy parts found at your local hardware store. But now the hard part is going to be getting the plastic on a greenhouse. If you've never put plastic on a greenhouse, uh, it's it can be very challenging and it's a little bit windy today so we're gonna see how this goes
Alrighty, so we're in the greenhouse. We've gotten the walls up on both sides. Um, I have made this door over here. The reason why I haven't made many videos today talking about doing the door and doing the other things is, I don't know if you can hear it, but we have a lot of rain. And to be completely honest, trying to work in the rain is a little bit miserable as well as electronics don't like getting wet. But <clears throat> I wanted to show you some things that I've learned so far in building this project. So this door is actually about 95% done. You can see I've got it nice framed out. The plastic is on here, but something I didn't take into consideration is that with the batting, like it is right here on both sides, when you open the door, that's about the end of it. They get stuck. They're not going to work. So I've got to come over here and try to figure out how to readjust this section. But with that being said, it actually does pretty nice here. If we close the door. Right there. And then it closes. It seals pretty nicely. I'm pretty happy with it. But I'm not as concerned about this door as I am about the door over here so we're gonna take what we've learned and I'm gonna go ahead and cut this section I'm gonna peel back the pieces put the batting on this side stretch it nice and tight and then that way when we build the other door the batting will all be on this side and hopefully I'll be able to open the doors all the way or pretty much all the way because that's going to be important is that's our main door. The back door here, I can try to figure it out. I've already cut on the inside of all the extra stuff, so it's going to be a little weird to try and get batting on the back side, but I'll play around with it and we'll figure out what's going on. But I'm going to start cutting on this, and we're going to get everything moved around so we can actually use this door the way it's supposed to be. was not exactly what I had planned but it's okay we're gonna fix this door today and then I should have some more wiggle wire channel come in so we can finish up the sides and then on Friday we'll have the double wire channel come in I'll show you my plans with that but we're gonna get this door into the garage get it cut down and get it hung that way it's all done it actually feels pretty warm in here Wow it feels really good in here and it's not even like really sealed sealed um, meaning like I've got some leakage over there I've got a pretty big hole over here so and obviously that big hole but oh man this is gonna be it's gonna be fun it's gonna be good
Hey, hey, we got it all done. Look at that. And we've got our string line up on this side and our string line up over here. We even have some plants out here already. And we also today got a package of our double channel wire. This is gonna finish off the project, but as you can tell from the outside, it's raining. I'm not gonna be finishing this project today. So we're gonna call it done. We don't need the roll up sides. We accomplished it. It was windy. The weather did not work with us as much as we wanted and I made a couple mistakes. But we beat it, we got it, and we have a beautiful greenhouse that all we need to do now is just kind of clean up the rough edges. So thank you guys for joining me today. Thank you guys for watching us as we grow. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.